focused on the task at hand as they came into the arena earlier. Coit Tower above San Francisco on a wonderful afternoon. The city hosting tonight's broadcast. Hi everyone and welcome to the NBA on Thursday night. We're bringing it to you live here on 2K Sports. With our analysts, Brent Barry and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson, along with reporter Ali LaForce. And here we are in October. Let's see how things are going out west. You look at Memphis, they currently hold the fourth best record in the conference. And checking out the Warriors, a game back. Right now for the Grizzlies, you have to love how they have turned some heads this year. So far, exceeding all those expectations. Now, the big question is, how long can the party last? Some people out there still thinking they're going to fade as the season goes on, but I'm on the other side of this argument. I think they get even better as we go down the stretch. And we've got just enough time for a pregame report. Let's go over to the sidelines, where Ali LaForce is standing by. Ali? Hey, Brian, you could say the alley-oop is perhaps the game's most exciting play. Ricky Rubio said that 80% of the credit should go to the finisher. LeBron James said, quote, the worst passes often lead to the best finishes. And Lonzo Ball said, when you have someone you trust to catch it, you can pretty much throw it wherever. Oh, yeah, he's had some good ones, Allie. Thanks. Early on in the schedule, Brent, what things do veteran players try to do at this point of the season? I think it's building on just a rhythm, B.A., being in great condition. You kind of have a barometer with which you know you want to be at offensively, defensively. And so it's just about getting that rhythm as quickly as you can. The starters for the Memphis Grizzlies. Jackson Jr. and Adams together inside. John ja Moran is out there with DeAnthony Melton. And it's Bain in at the three, the small forward. And for Golden State, the core of the dynasty all out there. Splash Brothers in the backcourt with Draymond at four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with James Wiseman. Now here's Thompson. Pass to Wiggins. To the middle. Wiseman. Tries to keep it alive. Morant with it. Now guarded by Curry. And now the Grizzlies on the run. Here's Adams. And it's Stephen slammed Adams. in by Adams. Yeah, you might ask for help down there. you got to push Stephen Adams out of the paint. And you can't give him good looks like that. Wiggins outside. The three from Thompson. Count it. One for one to start the game. Defensively, have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Now Morant. Pass to Bain. Jackson, right side. And here's Morant. Six to shoot. Here's Adams. He's in his comfort zone. Steven two Adams. for two to start this one. Uh, the motor right now for Steven Adams is humming on the glass, getting after it. Here's Green, and it's hammered home Green. by Green. This is Green. why you put the ball in his hands. Green. An accurate pass hitting a moving target. Melton outside. A little over a minute and a half into this first quarter. To the inside. And there's Jared Jackson on the assist from Melton. Assist. And three for four the to start. Melton. Showing some rhythm. Curry with it. Turned in an outstanding game against Oklahoma City. Adams grabs the miss. The Grizzlies have gone three of four to get things going. Out to the right wing. Morant finds Adams. Here's Bain. Excellent D there from Wiggins. A wasted trip down the floor. That's not a good shot at all. Yeah, see the coach? He's got that frown on his face. I think we know why. Not a high percentage look. Already five lead changes here. Speaks to how evenly matched these teams have been thus far. There are fans that hate on Draymond Green. But nobody can deny he's a winner. I mean, he is a winner. He's found success at every level. He gives everything to the team. And, of course, he has the rings to talk all he wants. 
from deep Melton. And he buries his first look. You're leaving him all alone? <laughs> Good luck. He's going to drill that every time. The Warriors trailing. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Outside Curry. The three is up. That shot, no good. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Melton passes to Adams. And it's slammed in by Adams. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Curry against Moran. Now here's Curry. He's guarded closely. Excellent D there from Moran. Pass to Adams. Wiseman with a steal. Thompson outside. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. And here's Curry for three. And again, no good by Golden State. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Moran finds Adams. Melton outside. Down to five on the shot clock. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Grizzlies. So far, guys, they've done a fantastic job finding the open man and getting some easy buckets. Another part of the game tonight where they've been effective is to get points in the paint. First one falls for him. Both good from the line that time. Golden State has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Wiggins for three. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. That's a good look from Clay right there. Just court awareness. And that guy was wide open. Curry against Moran. Melton outside. Three-pointer. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. The Warriors have gone four of eight and looking in control. Curry against Morant. Oh, Adams with the block. Well, the size of Steven Adams is one thing, but... Persistence is another. The Warriors cannot get anything to go. If there's going to be a way to get out of this hole, Second team I don't think he'll be the one to do it. At the line for the Grizzlies, DeAnthony Melton. At the line for two. off that one misses and James Wiseman remember the number two pick in the 2020 draft a top prospect coming in Back to Curry. Wiggins outside. Oh, stolen by Moran. Jackson, the pass to Adams. Back to Jackson. Here's Bain. Green covering. Outside Morant. Shoots over Wiggins. That one a little long. Wiseman with a limited college stint. 
might be the reason he went to number two on draft day. And I think we've got to show a little bit of patience with Wiseman having a truncated first season and then learning the NBA game after very little college experience. This is a seven-footer who can glide across the court, can finish at the rim, and is a great rim protector on defense. His game's coming. And the Grizzlies with possession here. Following the score by Golden State. Here's Jackson. And the dunk Jared by Jackson. Jackson. I love the strength shown by Jackson there. Refusing to let the defense have the last word. Now here's Curry. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Thompson outside. Down low. Here's Wiseman. Second chance shot. It's not going to go for him. Ooh, good work defensively by Adams. Puts it up. And there are the Grizzlies with another bucket. Adding to his game over time. When Jackson spots his open teammates like this, the offense runs much smoother. Golden State has gone 2 of 4 from distance to begin this one. Time out, time out. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. And the Warriors call time here. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Green. And it's Poole in for Stephen Curry. So it's the Warriors now. Trailing by eight. And Kyle Anderson is going to pick up the foul. That's his first, That's his first foul. foul. Let's take first another look at the staunch foul. defense during that mobile one block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. and building their lead, they've done an impressive job on the defensive glass. Here's Conchar, defended by Thompson. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. And some changes here for the Warriors. The Elita comes in for Wiseman, and it's Kaminga in for Wiggins. Nemanja Bialica! Jonathan Kaminga! And here's Poole. Outside Porter. And the Warriors miss again. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Clark outside. Here's Conchar. Back to Clark. Clock at six. Anderson for three. And again, it's Memphis with a three. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Here's Poole. 11-point game. To the paint. Here's Porter. And a foul Usually called foul. on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. And that's a good Second example Porter foul. is setting for his teammates. You've got to get your Warriors. elbows dirty. Can't be afraid Auto to get physical. Porter. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good from Porter. And the NBA and its players taking an active role socially. Grant, talk about what you're seeing now and how it registers with you. Well, you know, it's exciting. It's inspiring. It's patriotic. It's what America is, being able to exercise your voice and helping to form a more perfect union. So that's what it's all about. And I'm excited for the league and its players. And it's inspiring, like I said. Porter hits them both. 
Memphis has gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. Moran against Poole. Outside Moran. Yep, that one's good. And the Grizzlies lead by 11. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Now here's Poole. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Five on the clock. Here's Bielitsa. Oh, and he got Memphis fouled foul. on his way up. He'll Steven head to the line Adams. to shoot two. That's his first personal That's on foul. Steven Adams. Third team the key foul. for Bielitsa is confidence, attacking and trying to find ways line for the to do different types of damage Nemenia. in the game. Bielitsa. At the line for two. And he drops the first. Now, Bielitsa, a big guy who flows into offensive possessions and becomes an invaluable player in terms of the type of floor spacing you would want from a shooting big. And that's good as he hits both shots. Memphis leading. Now Morant. Last game, he had 28 points. On the wing, Conchar. Outside, Anderson. Shot clock at five. Here's Moran. No good that time. The Elitza with some nice D. He's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Pool, the pass to Thompson. And again, no good by Golden State. Anderson against Porter. Inside. It's stolen by Bielitsa. Pass to Thompson. Lots of room. And that one's good. That makes it two for three. You never let Clay shoot off a crisp pass. He just lets that go so quick. They swipe it. Cool with the ball. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Now here's Thompson. Pool outside. Takes a three. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Adams has got a sixth rebound on the night. Oh, ripped away. Here's Kaminga. And here is Thompson. Pool outside. Beyond the arc. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists now in this one. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Timeout call, Memphis. You know, Jonathan Kaminga has a terrific build for NBA action. He's got height and a seven-foot wingspan, combined with a lot of quickness and athleticism. some changes. Tillman comes in for Adams. And it's Jones in for Moran. And the Grizzlies with possession here. They lead by four. Moran, where you really see Kaminga put his physical gifts to use is on defense. Oh, that's right. He sticks to his man like glue and also has a great nose for the boards. He was collecting a very respectable amount of rebounds down there in the G League. Now here's Poole. Pass to Thompson. There's a minute 40 left to play in the first quarter. Doesn't go that time. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. Oh, they need this. Ooh, Thompson with the block. Clay 
Ray showing some signs that time with that prime time defense he can bring. Here's Clark. Here's Kaminga. Looking for his first basket still in this one. The Elita outside. And we're going to have a jump ball. You too. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. Memphis has gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. From downtown, doesn't go for him. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. They come into this one having outplayed the Thunder in their last game. Oh my, that was a game for the ages. A fierce battle that really could have gone either way, but they were fortunate they pulled it out. Man, they had to scrape and claw just to get themselves back into the game and into overtime, but they really kept their composure in the extra five minutes and it paid off for the win. Conchar can't hit. The Warriors trailing. A little mid-range shot is up. The Elita inside. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. State basketball. There's 31 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Just five on the clock. Thompson. Conchar pulls it in. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Clark, no good. Anderson against Porter. Who poked away. Here's Bielitsa. Oh, nice finish from the whole block. That was good. Well, Bielitsa is a weapon because of his efficiency from out there. Here's Jones. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's off target. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one. Grizzlies out in front, leading by just two. And the second quarter is on its way when we return. And the fourth pick in 2018, Jaron Jackson Jr., the rare NBA-ready defender, he talked about where he can make the most impact. Uh, probably be more of a backline help, um, talk more, give more help for the rotations because, you know, depending on what team you play, there's a lot of specific things you got to do to guard a certain player. A veteran's understanding of help and positioning, Grant. Yeah, I love that defensive mind approach. That's why they're a team to be reckoned with. And some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. And looking at what we've seen from the Grizzlies, what do you think, guys? Well, you have to credit their effort on the defensive end. It set the tone for this contest. Yeah, defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. The Splash Brothers, Curry and Thompson, the guards. Kaminga is out there with Nemanja Bielica, and it's Porter in at the three. That's the group for Golden State as we kick off the second quarter. Now here's Curry. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Shot clock at six. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And a crazy stat here, Brent. For nine consecutive seasons, the league has broken the record for three-pointers made. And where does it end? I don't know. I think we're redlining on the attack on this point, B.A. A lot of teams electing to play that space and three-point ball type of offense, but we're reaching the outer limits. And 
he makes the first. And the Warriors making a change here. Green is checked in. So he gets them both. Memphis has gone three of six from deep so far. Now Jones. Outside, Anderson puts up a three. Sinks it from Kyle distance. Anderson. Anderson's got six. That's a pretty good look from Kyle Anderson. Good form as he squares up and knocks down one from the perimeter. Pass to Green. Back to Curry. Yep, it finally drops after rolling around the rim. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Well, the Warriors have had a big problem committing fouls. Coach Steve Kerr has drilled them on moving their feet, not getting baited into the cheap ones. He said, quote, we talk about it every day. And Stephen Curry said, quote, it's on all of us to hold each other accountable, being in the right position. Yep, and that's why he is who he is. Good stuff, Alec. And the Brandon basket Clark. by Clark. This is how you force a defense to collapse. Kick the ball right inside. And for the Warriors, they're shooting just under 40% from the field. Outside Porter. On the take. And then Porter with the dunk. Well, the defense is paying so much attention to what Stephen's doing. It's going to lead to baskets for this offense like that one. Now here's Jones. Pass to Anderson. Five to shoot. Let's it fly. And no good. So Golden State will take it the other way. Curry passes to Poole. Back to Curry. 4-3. And it's Tillman with a rebound. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, PA. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Poole with a the ball. There's the three. Curry, no good. Back to Anderson. Pass to Conchar. To the paint. Kicks it out to Clark. Here's Tillman. Green covering. Count that one. Xavier Tillman. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough Great. to come by. Well, Draymond did a good job of getting some space there and rooting himself to collect. Now here's Jones. Pass to Clark. Fires the three. And again, it's Memphis with a three. They've been the more poised team tonight, and the score reflects that. Yeah, just really pouring it on right now, trying to take away the opposition's motivation to keep competing in this one. And, of course, Canadian-born Brandon Clark grew up in Phoenix. He played at San Jose State, then transferred to Gonzaga. A few stops on his way to the association. Now here's Anderson. Give him eight. Outside Jones. To the inside, Tillman. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And now it's a 10-point Grizzly lead. Golden State has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. And Golden dual State citizenship for Brandon Clark, Canadian and the U.S. That Canadian national team is looking to be a force. And don't forget, his father is Jamaican, so who knows? <laughs> Bottom line, he's got some options when it comes to international play. Timeout called, the Warriors. 
failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. He's checked in for the Warriors. Wiggins comes in for Poole. Outside Curry. And he's going for the lob! And it's Wiseman missing. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Here's Jones. It's rebounded by Here's Golden State. Tyus Jones. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. The Warriors have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Wiggins passes to Curry. Another shot. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. Defensive foul. Kyle Anderson. Last year, Brent Curry climbing the ranks on all-time made threes. Incredible to see how fast he's ascended the total pole. The question's going to be, B.A. is how big will that lead be once it is that Steph Curry retires. It's almost like Stockton and the, the steals numbers. Nobody's touching John Stockton's steal numbers. Feel the same way with Curry's three ball. That one misses for Curry. And looking at the career of Curry, his legacy is set. The titles, records, numbers all cemented him as a legend. Now here's Jackson. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Trailblazers in Portland. Felt like he also was prepared for whatever the opposition was coming at him with. He was either contesting shots or swatting them away. Just a dominant defensive yeah, performance all the way around. At times, some have doubted Curry's legacy. Hard to make a case against him, though, in my opinion. I agree, B.A. He has produced in every capacity. It's just a matter of how great he is. One of the top three point guards of all time. Here's Porter. Following the bucket by the Grizzlies. Outside for Green. Oh, from deep! Second shot opportunity. Porter finds Wiseman. That one doesn't drop. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Bain into the lane. Anderson gets the bucket. Anderson. And it's a 12-point Grizzly lead. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. And the Warriors with possession here. Outside Curry from behind the arc. Sinks the tray. Curry's got seven points for the quarter. This story in the second quarter much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Pass to Bain. Back to Jones. Curry with a steal. Now here's Wiggins. Here's Wiseman. Back to Wiggins. Oh, and makes it with a kiss. Wiggins. Wiggins has got his second Brody bucket on the night. Wiseman. And Wiseman, that long frame and that left hand able to whip that pass to his teammate. And here's Jones. Jackson on the wing. Over Wiseman. Jackson can't get it to go. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. Pass to Wiggins. This one for three. Cash. And Assisting on the play with Porter. And now just a four-point Grizzly lead. Wiggins making quick decisions with the ball, not wasting any time getting that shot off. Here's Jones. Melton outside. And here's Jackson. And he dunks it down. And this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. And it's the Warriors with the ball. The Grizzlies making their last shot. The kick out to Wiggins. Back to Curry. Clock at six. 
There's the triple. That shot off. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Coming off a win against the Blazers. And the way they fought in that fourth quarter was just inspiring. They deserve to win that game based on their fortitude. Now here's Melton. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Trailblazers in Portland. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So his passing right up there on the level with his scoring in that one. Taking two shots. down the first one and some changes here for the Warriors Bielitsa has checked in for Green and it's Thompson in for Porter Jr. Adams checked in for Memphis Morant comes in for Jones good on both The Warriors have gotten 7 of 15 shots here in the second quarter. Curry against Moran. Curry gets the bucket. Enjoy watching Curry getting it done, this time in the mid-range. Memphis has gone 2 for 2 from outside the arc here in the second quarter. Pass to Bain. Back to Moran. Memphis needs to get off a shot. The three from Bain. Goes back up. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. I feel like Wiseman covers every area on the floor, and that's a nice block. The Warriors have gotten half their shots to fall in the second. Eight for 16. Back to Curry. Wiggins outside. Just five to shoot. Got a hand on it. And he gets it back. The three from Thompson. And the three-pointer goes. Thompson's got eight points. Memphis has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Outside Moran. He makes John it on the layup. Lawrence. And the Grizzlies lead by seven. Yes, they just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Now Curry. He's got nine. Pass to Wiseman. It's Wiggins on the wing. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Bounds, the attention to detail on ball. defense. Jackson reads shooters well and knows when to go for blocks. Shot from the inbound. And a nice bucket inside for Wiggins. Wiggins. Ten points for him. Well, Picasso couldn't have drawn that up any better. Perfect execution off the inbound. Moran against Curry. Outside Moran. Shoots over Curry. And another basket for Memphis. Moran. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Curry against Moran. Outside Curry. Three-pointer off the mark. His poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track if they're going to find a way to win. Wiggins finds Thompson. Here's Curry. And they call an illegal screen here. And check out the turnover differential. They give the ball up an extra four times. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted, Pretty obvious call by the officials. Gotta hold firm or you're gonna get a call. Memphis leading. 
Morant with it. Six points for him. And he can't get that one. Good work defensively by Wiseman. From deep three-point range. Here's Adams. And there's two. Work on the glass. Paying off that time. Adams has got eight points. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. And here's Thompson for three. Hits the three-pointer. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Moran against Curry. Pass to Bain. Melton outside. Down low. And there's Jackson yeah, on the assist Jr. from Melton. He's got 10. Finishing through contact. Jackson showing why a 6'11 guy with real shooting ability is so dangerous. 26 seconds left in the first half of this game. Here's Curry. Count that bucket. Hey, he's doing whatever he can right now to pump up his teammates. Memphis has gone 2 of 4 from beyond the arc in the second quarter. Outside Moran. Pass to Bain. Outside Moran. Here's Melton. And that's not going to go. And so it's Memphis with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Here with Coach Steve Kerr, your defense struggling to contain them in the first half. How do you remedy it? We got to uh, get back in transition. We got to make them feel us. You know, they're just running anything they want. We've got to at least disrupt the stuff they're trying to do. Thank you, Coach. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break, ready for the second half. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. For the Grizzlies, the first quarter was pretty even. They led by two after the first. Well, for the Grizzlies, Kenny, give us your take. They came out as the more physical team tonight. You could tell they put an emphasis on winning the battle of the board. All of these bodies crashing the glass has given them a physical and a middle edge. And Shaq, what do you have to say about the Warriors? Whatever their game plan was defensively coming in, that needs to change. Can't let a team shoot for a percentage in the highest field. Expect to come out on top. It's on the coaches and the players to adjust. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother.